Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fully use the Snap Transform tool within the Object Editor. And I'm going to be able to apply that to a few of the most commonly tricky situations where you'll need to use this. I'll also be going over the Control b and Control n combination. That's just another good way of placing objects pretty much exactly where you want them to be. So to start off, um, I'm going to be working with the most tricky object, I guess, if you don't really know how to place it, um, and th that are the road pieces. So pretty much what's so hard about these road pieces is as you start lining them up, it's really important to line up the sidewalks and the road gaps and everything like that. So let's uh, place this over here, and I'll just show you a basic demonstration of, if you didn't know these skills, how you'd try to do it. So let's say I've got this uh, road line here, and so I just wanted to connect them together. Well, if I didn't use the snap transformation tools, probably what I would do is I would just try to line them up straight like this. And whereas this would work, and you can get pretty detailed with this, you may not get a perfect connection. Now it looks pretty good, and you know this, this will work if you've just got a straight road. But once you start getting turns and intersections in there, stuff starts getting off by you know little tiny amounts that are hard to tell. So the first main thing that you need to know about this snap transform is that you need to hold control while moving an object. And this will move it in increments of whatever size you set. So right now I have the size set to 1 and it'll be moving it forward 1 and in this case it's 1 meter and backwards 1 meter. I left it on metric. I think you can set it to feet as well. So that's, that's a, obviously a matter of preference. So using this to place these roads, now I, I'm able to place it exactly and there's not going to be any overlap and pretty much it just allows for me to place this, these road lines together a lot more precisely. So this doesn't really solve the problem though. So what starts to happen when we want to combine road lines with like turns or something like that? So I'm going to copy and paste both of these over here. And I'm going to raise them up to the same height so that we know that for sure they are the same height. So let's say we want to place these two together. So doing it by hand is you're pretty much going to run into the same problems. It's just they're going to be more visible. So obviously I want to try to get this almost perfect or as perfect as I can be. And you know, this is pretty good, but you can't always get them this nice. I think they're off just by a little bit. It's hard to tell, but it does make a difference, you know, along the line as this sort of mistake keeps adding up. And so this is where we get to um, the control B and control N combination. So pretty much what we're going to want to do is select the this piece of the road which is our first piece, usually it's the one we base it off of. And so we're going to hit control B and pretty much what this does is it saves its location. Now we're going to select this one next and press control N and pretty much what that does is it puts the location that was saved onto the object that is selected. And so from here, whereas this wouldn't be that helpful, if we combine this with the snap transformation, we can use the snap transformation to move this over and get a perfect fit. So this joint here, guys, this is literally perfect. I couldn't make it any better by hand. It is actually perfect. So if we combine this, we want to like add another curve. We can just copy paste that, rotate it if we want, obviously using snap rotation as well, which works almost exactly the same way as snap transformation. And here we go. We got another perfect fit. So if you want to do your entire road system this way, this actually works. We can just slap in, let's uh, control B that, control N that, and rotate it a bit. The control B, control N combination does not copy rotation, but usually rotation is not really a problem. So if we want to build our entire road system this way, it works. It works really well. We can just keep copy pasting and slapping these things on. But there is another way of doing this. So this is perfectly fine if you guys want to use this. I definitely would. I mean, it's way better than doing it by hand. But, you know, there is another way you can do this. And it is using these planes. So usually these are not really used. People usually use the arrows just because they're a lot easier to use. But 
if you hold control while clicking on this plane and dragging, it actually snaps this road piece into an invisible grid. And, you know, whereas right now that's kind of like, why would you need that? Well, so if we want to snap this one into the same invisible grid, we're going to use the same bottom square here, so it'll move it across, you know, what, whatever plane it is that this one was moved on. And we're going to move this along the same grid. And so pretty much what this allows us to do is it allows us to also match them up perfectly. So the grid is going to be the same for every single object out here. I can press control and move this along the same grid as well and it's going to work perfectly every time. So this is pretty much an alternative. You can use sort of the control control B control N method over there and it works too. This is just another way, no control, no commands, nothing like that. Just holding control and moving them around and it still moves them you know, very precisely. Now obviously the problem with this is that the grid is below the ground so obviously at the end of our road section when we build all of it together we're going to want to move these up as one all together we're just going to move those up and it will be perfect as well. So you know the reason I did this on roads is because that's generally what people have trouble with. I had trouble with this a lot especially while building other maps. So I've got a few other objects that you know can be kind of tricky. So let's start with counter because this is a commonly used one when decorating houses. So with normal counters it is pretty easy to duplicate you know this counter number one by itself you can just control and actually I've got a adjust the snap transform. It actually needs to be 0.5 instead of 1. That uh, is going to change based on the object. So you may have to mess with that a little bit, but the same uh, rules apply. So I'm going to just copy paste and drag it over. And that's pretty easy. And so, you know, I can do an entire line of these. The connection will be perfect. Nobody will know a difference. So it gets tricky when we try to use this um, sink here. So really using the grid is not that great especially when you need to line it up with the wall really precisely so the best method for this is to use the control B and then control N and that'll pretty much allow us to line this sync up perfectly if I can move it over correctly and you know of course if we want to just make other drawers on the other side just copy paste drag it across so that's pretty much how you use it with counters um, Similar with ovens and dishwashers, these uh, these appliances are actually the same size, really. They're pretty much the exact same. And so it works the exact same way. If I control B on this, control on that, move it over, we've got a perfect connection right here, and they fit together really well. So that's just another way you can do that. And also, I didn't really think of this till just recently actually, it was the last thing I thought up. But when doing certain types of parking, you actually use both this block parking and the line parking. So what you can actually do, the most useful thing for these is, well you could do the control B and control N method. And this actually does work really well. So you can just control this up over here, and it's pretty much perfect, it's right in the center of that uh, parking spot and then you can just copy paste you know and fill all those parking spots and put the blocks where they're supposed to be but you can also use the grid for this which you know it may not be as great depending on you know the location that you need to put this in but you can use the grid and place this around and you can also use the same grid and line that up perfectly so you know that's just one of the many things that I'm sure you can use this on so yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, just sort of showing you the tips on how to use the planes and how to use the control B and control N. I probably should have done this video earlier because it's incredibly useful but I'm just now getting around to it. So anyway guys uh, hopefully you'll be able to use these and you know they are very useful so you know while making your maps you know if you're having trouble with this maybe you can go back through and fix it you know it might be too late though so but anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.